welcome to Villa Vizcaya, now known as the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens. This is the former villa and estate of businessman James Deering of the Deering McCormick International Harvester Fortune and sits on Biscayne Bay in the present day Coconut Grove neighborhood of Miami, Florida. The early 20th century Vizcaya estate includes extensive Italian Renaissance gardens, native woodland landscapes, and a historic village of outbuildings. The landscape and architecture were influenced by Veneto and Tuscan Italian Renaissance models and designed in the beautiful Mediterranean Revival architectural style with Baroque elements. F. Burl Hoffman was the architect, Paul Chalfin was the design director, and Diego Suarez oversaw the landscape as the landscape architect. All right, guys, I'm taking you on a tour of the Skaya today. It's a 1916 Mediterranean in Miami, and I'm so excited. The estate property originally consisted of 180 acres of shoreline and mango swamps and a dense inland native tropical forest. Being a conservationist, Deering cited the development of the estate portion along the shore to conserve the forests. This portion was originally to include the villa, the formal gardens, recreational amenities, expansive lagoon gardens with new islets, a potager, and grazing fields along with a village services compound. Deering began construction of Vizcaya in 1912 and moved in on Christmas Day of 1916 when he arrived aboard his yacht. The villa was built primarily between 1914 and 1922 with construction slowing during the time of World War I. The completion cost of Vizcaya was $15 million, but today the property is said to be worth an estimated $9 billion. Vizcaya is noteworthy for adapting historical European aesthetic traditions to South Florida's subtropical eco-region. For example, it combined imported French and Italian garden layouts and elements implemented in Cuban limestone stonework with Floridian coral architecture trim and planted with subtropic compatible and native plants that thrived in the habitat and climate. Palms and philodendrons had not been representative in the gardens of Tuscany or the Isle de France.
Hey guys, we interrupt this video for just a second so that we can tell you a little bit more about Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is this fantastic new cereal with zero sugar. It's got high protein, low carbs, really good for you. Lane's eating blueberry today, which she loves. I can't talk because I'm too busy eating blueberry. Hey, <laughs> you know what's in the blueberry? What? Blueberries. No. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm having peanut butter today. Mmm, chewing sounds everyone's favorite. <laughs> Magic Spoon has zero grams of sugar, 13 to 14 grams of protein. Do you know how hard it is to get protein anyway, but especially out of cereal, and only four net grams of carbs in each serving. Better still, each serving only has 140 calories. They're keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. I grew up on cereal. I don't know about you, but I had cereal every single day, and I still love cereal as an still adult. Has it every single day. I know. So I can have guilt free cereal that is really good for me now with Magic Spoon. Hooray! Hooray! So if you want to get Magic Spoon, get your own variety pack, choose what you want in yours. Today we've got maple waffle, cookies and cream, and cinnamon, and blueberry, blueberry. And peanut butter, Pink and blueberry. there's cocoa. So you choose what you want in your variety pack and go to magicspoon.com slash restoration. Restoration. You can save $5 on your variety pack. Get blueberry. So go to magicspoon.com slash restoration today. And get blueberry. In 1910, interior decorator Elsie DeWolf introduced Deering to Paul Chalfin, a former art curator, painter, and interior designer who became the project's director. He assisted and encouraged Deering to collect art items, antiquities, and architectural elements for the project. Chalfin recommended the architect F. Burl Hoffman to design the structure and facade of the villa, garden pavilions, and estate outbuildings. In 1914, during a visit to Villa La Pietra in Florence, Deering and Chalfin met Colombian landscape designer Diego Suarez. Suarez, the designer of the landscape master plan and individual gardens, trained with Sir Harold Acton at the gardens of Villa La Pietra outside Florence, Italy. The Skyas Villa exterior and garden architecture is a composite of different Italian Renaissance villas and gardens with French Renaissance Partier features based on visits and research by Tolfin, Deering, and Hoffman.
It is often referred to as the Hearst Castle of the East. The Skya also features Gilded Era technology. There are doorbells, a dumbwaiter, a rotary telephone, hot and cold running water, and other miscellaneous items that today we take for granted, but for the time were state of the art. The Skya's telephone system was the first one in Miami-Dade County.
James Deering died in September of 1925 on board the steamship SS City of Paris, en route back to the United States. After his death, Vizcaya was inherited by his two nieces, Marion Deering McCormick, wife of Chauncey McCormick, and Barbara Deering Danielson, wife of Richard Eli Danielson. Over the decades, after hurricanes and increasing maintenance costs, they began selling the estate's surrounding land, parcels, and outer gardens. In 1945, they sold significant portions of the Vizcaya property to the Catholic Diocese of St. Augustine, Florida, to build Miami's Mercy Hospital. Fifty acres comprising the main house, the formal gardens, and the village were retained. In 1952, Miami-Dade County acquired the villa and the formal Italian gardens, which at the time needed a significant restoration, totaling $1 million. Deering's heirs donated the villa's furniture and antiquities to the county museum. Vizcaya began operation in 1953 as the Dade County Art Museum. The village and remaining property were acquired by the county during the 1950s. In 1994, the Vizcaya Estate was designated as a National Historic Landmark, and in 1998, in conjunction with Vizcaya's reaccreditation process by the American Alliance of Museum, the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens Trust was formed as Vizcaya's governing body.
Today, Miami-Dade County owns the Vizcaya property as the Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, which is open to the public. Vizcaya Museum and Gardens consists of 50 acres, the villa, gardens, and remaining native forest. The Villas Museum consists of more than 70 rooms of distinctive architectural interiors decorated with numerous antiques with an emphasis on 15th through early 19th century European decorative arts and furnishings. Some of the earliest decorative art items were aboard a doomed ship in 1912, the Titanic, and they sank along with all souls on board. Deering took out insurance and had them replaced. Vizcaya was built with an open air courtyard and extensive gardens on Biscayne Bay. As such, the estate has been subject to environmental and hurricane damage the latter, notably in 1926, 1992, and 2005. Miami-Dade County was granted money, $50 million, for the restoration and preservation of Vizcaya. These funds have been matched by grants from FEMA, Save America's Treasures, and numerous other funds and private donors. The Great Hurricane of 1926 devastated the greater Miami area, including Vizcaya. The Skyas Historic Rose Garden was destroyed by the Great Hurricane in 1926 after salt water seeped into the Rose Garden, decimating the roses and preventing growth thereafter. The Skyas Horticultural Team partnered with the Tropical Rose Society of Miami to bring some roses back to the Skyas Gardens 100 years later. One of Vizcaya's outdoor restoration project challenges included the estate's swimming pool grotto built in 1916. The pool is only one of two public places in the world to feature a mural by Robert Winthrop Chandler, a prominent American artist. The ceiling mural was designed in 1916 depicting an underwater fantasy scene filled with creatures and marine life. Shells are embedded in the plaster mural of the scene. In 1992 and 2005, the swimming pool grotto was submerged during hurricanes. The combination of floods and Miami's climate have led to preservation challenges and are a priority to the museum, as it's the home of one of only two Chandler murals still in existence today. The state of Florida and the Division of Emergency Management Hurricanes Losh Mitigations Program provided Vizcaya with a grant of $194,000 to help prevent further damage to the historic estate. In 2008, the National Trust for Historic Preservation listed Vizcaya as one of America's 11 most endangered historical places. As noted by the National Trust website, Vizcaya's inclusion on the list was based on the, quote, threat of proposed high-rise development on neighboring property. Specifically, the National Trust stated, quote, unless development is blocked or an intervention occurs, this cultural landscape will be permanently damaged by the construction of three high-rise condominium towers within Vizcaya's historic viewshed, end quote. The proposed high-rises were blocked by two court rulings in 2010 by the city of Miami, and it included a viewshed protection for the historic properties like Vizcaya in its new zoning called Miami 21.
the next time you're in Miami, you cannot miss Villa Vizcaya, its beautiful gardens and museum open to the public.